This video will provide information on how to set up, use, and maintain the Genesis Sterilization Container System. Consult the Genesis instructions for use prior to using the system. It is important to inspect and thoroughly clean and rinse all components, including the container, basket, and accessories before using them. Not properly preparing your Genesis containers may adversely affect the container's finish. The Genesis instructions contain specific recommendations for different types of sterilization. The end user is ultimately responsible for establishing and following protocols to ensure properly sterilized sets. A filter is required for all sterilization cycles. Genesis filters are for single use only and must be discarded after each process. See the Genesis instructions for the selection of filter sizes. An optional protective plate is available for use with pre-vacuum steam sterilization only. The use of the optional protective plate helps prevent direct contact of the filter material from external objects. If the optional protective plate is used, place the optional plate directly over the perforations. Place a new filter on top of the optional protective plate. The filter should overlap the filter ridge on all four sides. Place the retention plate on top of the filter. Note that the filter retention plates are stamped bottom or top as a guide for appropriate placement. To secure the filter retention plate, apply downward pressure to the plate. Simultaneously rotate the lever toward the side of the container. Make sure the lever is rotated completely and the retention plate is locked firmly in place. If the optional protective plate is not used in the lid, place a new filter directly over the perforations. Place the retention plate on top of the filter. Apply downward pressure to the plate and simultaneously rotate the lever toward the side of the container. Make sure the lever is rotated completely and the retention plate is locked firmly in place. If using a perforated bottom container, place a new filter directly over the perforations located in the container bottom. As was done in the container lid, place the retention plate on top of the filter. Apply downward pressure to the plate near the lever and simultaneously rotate the lever toward the side of the container. To assemble the container for sterilization, place the appropriately sized basket with instruments into the container bottom. Ensure that the basket handles are facing properly. For the standard handle style, the handles should face toward the center of the basket. For the vertical handle style, the handles should be in the down position. Place an internal processing indicator in the set according to hospital protocols and policies. Place the lid on the container bottom, making sure it is properly seated. To lock the container, begin by interlocking the lid latch with the bottom latch on both sides. Press down with smooth, continuous pressure until an audible snap is heard, confirming the latch is secured. Data cards are used to record processing information, such as load number, date processed, and expiry date, according to your facility's protocols. Insert the data cards into the blocks located on each side of the container bottom. Placement will allow for easy visual access during storage and transport. To insert a tamper-evident arrow, move the carrying handle to an upright position. Orient the arrow so that the chemical indicator dot is facing outward. Insert one arrow into the open channel found under the data block. Advance the arrow until both sets of tabs have completely passed through and are visible. Grasp the arrow end with the indicator dot and gently pull back on the arrow to ensure that it is correctly placed and secure. Repeat this process for the other side of the container. When loading containers onto carts, always place the containers flat on cart shelves. 
Containers may be sterilized in dedicated loads or in mixed loads with wrapped and other peel-packed items. If sterilizing a mixed load, place containers below absorbent wrapped items. After sterilization and storage but prior to use, inspect the container. Place the container on a level surface that facilitates aseptic opening. Check for the appropriate color change of the chemical indicator dot found on the tamper-evident arrows. A chemical indicator that has changed color differentiates a processed indicator from an unprocessed one. As long as there is color change, the indicator has reacted sufficiently. The chemical indicators on the tamper-evident arrows are not an indicator of sterility. Check for the physical integrity of both tamper-evident arrows. Grasp the arrow on the chemical indicator dot end and gently pull. If the arrow slips out of the channel, consider the contents of the container not sterile. Inspect to ensure the filter is in place. The filter color will show through the perforations on the lid of the container and container bottom. If the optional protective plate was used, the filter color will show through a single corner of the perforation area. To open the container, place your fingers under the bottom latch on both sides of the container. Gently pull upward and outward on the bottom latches. This motion disengages the lid from the bottom and breaks the tamper-evident arrows. Lift the lid vertically up and off the container bottom. After removing, inspect the lid. Check the gasket to ensure there is no damage or separation from the retaining groove. Inspect the filter and retention plate in the lid for correct placement. Inspect the filter for any visible tears or punctures. Check the internal chemical indicator for acceptable results. Securely grasp the basket handles, making sure the sterile gown and gloves do not touch the outside of the container, the container edge, or table. Lift the basket in a straight upward direction. All container components should undergo a complete decontamination process after each use. Consult the Genesis instructions for the full cleaning and processing instructions.